Greetings, Commanders. This is Kadger. I'm just going to do kind of a stream of consciousness thing here. I wanted to go into the beta and play around a little bit with the shield mods and shield booster mods I have just to see uh, what effect the changes have on my most shielded ship, my cutter. So that's what this will be about. It's going to be possibly boring, but uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm over here in the beta. I'm over at the engineer. Uh, they've enabled uh, free engineering now, so I wanted to check some things out, uh, investigate some of the shield stuff. I'm um, in my cutter because it's the the ship I have that has the biggest shields. Uh, they're about 2,500 in live, and they are now showing as 1,720 here. Uh, my resistances, as you can see, are 52.2, 58.2, 67.9 which is actually pretty good and uh, let me just quickly show you what I have on there this is just what I had from live I have not changed anything yet in beta uh, my tests with uh, these shields show that they are uh, less effective than the ones that are in live uh, Not. It's like not the end of the world or anything, but definitely less effective. And uh, that's somewhat concerning because, uh, yeah, I need shields. <laughs> so this is what I currently have on here. I have a resistance booster here, a resistance booster here, a heavy duty there, a heavy duty there. So that's two resistance, two heavy duties. Uh, another heavy duty, three heavy duties, and another resistance. So I have three of each. That's that's how I currently have it set up. And my shield itself uh, has a thermal resistance attached to it, so that I have uh, you know 35.1 thermal resistance instead of the usual minus 20. And my kinetic resistance is 26 and a half, explosive is 50.8, so that's what I had. Now I'm just, I'm not sure what the exact best way to go is anymore. So the things I want to test out are I want to, want to try reinforced shields instead of thermal resist, and then add a thermal resistance booster to uh, offset that a bit. I don't know. It's it's that it's that kind of thing where they've changed it up and now we have to mess with it and decide how it's how the how to deal with it. I'm pretty sure we're going to want to re-engineer some of the stuff. I'm just not entirely sure what we want to do with it. So that's kind of why I'm here. I'm going to mess around. I thought I would turn on the video and let you guys watch. I don't know how interesting it will actually be, but. Uh, it's interesting to me. <laughs> All right, so here I have thermal resistance shields <clears throat> is what I currently have. So if I were to change to reinforced shields, <clears throat> I would of course lose all that thermal resistance. However, I might get, well, I would get more kinetic resistance, of course, better optimal strength and more explosive than these things would go down all the regen stuff goes down and the distributed draw becomes higher. The reason I'm interested in maybe in doing reinforced shields though is because the new diminishing returns that they have put into the shield boosters, especially the heavy duty ones, uh, don't take effect uh, based on your shield. They only have an effect based on how many boosters you have. So if your shield starts out stronger, like if you have a reinforced shield or, or a prismatic or something like that that has a higher initial strength then the diminishing returns won't affect it as soon so it's a, it's just kinda of weird how it's how it works it starts from the base of the shield so I'm gonna try uh, rolling a few of these uh, I have basically infinite rolls here in the beta so I can experiment with it 
what I want to try to do, of course, is get like an amazingly good roll just to know what it would be like. So that one's not too bad. I mean, it's increased some stuff. Yeah, it's got good kinetic mass. Yeah. I want to move. <clears throat> I would like this to be like all the way up so that I can get an idea. I prefer for this not to be down at the very bottom, but it's obviously it can't go much higher than that, so it's always going to be less than what I have. Now let's try a few more. I'm not going to spend like huge amounts of time because there's no point. I want to get the theory down and yeah, get an idea of how can it be, you know. Alright, see now that doesn't look too bad. I mean, that it's not quite the highest there, but it's good. Uh, the kinetic resistance is excellent. The thermal resistance is actually not as nerfed as I expected it to be. And it actually is higher than they say it could be. Optimal hole mass went down like some little amount. That's a little bit worrying, but I'm not sure how much of an effect that actually has. I have never uh, really thought too much about that. All right, well, let's let's try another one because I, I don't know what effect that has and I that would confuse me, so let's do another one. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's more what I expected to see. Oh, I even got a little less mass. So I have decent increased optimal strength, 28%. Uh, and the thermal didn't get nerfed too badly. And uh, even my regenerates didn't get nerfed too badly. Well, they did, but okay. Let's let's use that. All right, so we we'll put that on there. Now with just that and no other change, let's see what we got now. So now we we have 2210 shields again. Uh, so that's clearly higher. Uh, my resistances for both kinetic and explosive are really quite high. Uh, the only the only thing I have that's uh, a big negative. Now, it's not a huge negative, is the thermal resistance being only 33. Since I'm basically a PVE only, I mostly care about what NPCs are going to shoot at me. And uh, they mostly use uh, lasers, which is thermal. So, yeah, I would like to increase that. So now that I have that, let's go. Well, let's get an, let's get an idea of how much difference it makes uh, in terms of the heavy duties. So I currently have one, two, uh, three heavy duty boosters on there, right? So let me store one of them. And let's see what difference it makes with only two on there. Okay, so you can see that it reduced the shield health, but not by very much. Just a little bit. That's the diminishing returns kicking in there. You, you can add more heavy-duty boosters, but you're not getting a lot out of them. So now I have two heavy-duties. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the other resistance guy off as well. Now let's see. Let's, that one's 13. Let's see. I want to take off the worst one I have. Yeah, that is the worst one. Okay. So this one I'm gonna store him for a minute. Um, okay. So that now brings me to here. So you can see again, removing that booster didn't make a huge difference. It reduced my resistances a bit, of course, and the shield health a bit, but again, the diminishing returns is kicking in on both of those. 
All right, so at this point, I think what I want is to change one of my resistance boosters to a thermal guy. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, which one of my resistance guys is the worst of the two, I guess. I'm trying to think about this, you know, how will I do it in live? Well, they're pretty equivalent, so. That one already has 16, so I'll, I'll do this one, the second one. And we'll just redo it and see what we can get. So this one, if we were to change it to thermal resistance, I should be able to get sort of fill in that thermal resist hole that I got now by switching to reinforced. I really want to see the, the kind of the highest thermal resist I can get. That one's pretty good. Gave me a little more shield boost, too. Interesting. Let's put that in there just to see how it affects things. Oops. All right. So, actually, it didn't help a heck of a lot. It brought the thermal resistance up a little. 32.9. I was expecting it to have a bigger effect than that. And really, I can't get a heck of a lot more out of it, even if I do lots of rolls. Now let's try anyway, just just to get a, a feel for what the maximum we could ever expect to get would be. Okay, so that's probably the biggest thermal I'm going to get right there. Put that on there. And see what we got. Eh, it brought it up to 33.2. So it's still, yeah, still what it is. Interesting. All right, so then what happens if I put back on one of my other shield boosters that I stored? So now I have the reinforced, I have one resistance aug, one thermal. Now it's interesting, like my straight ahead resistance one gives me 16%, plus 16 on the thermal, and the thermal one gives me plus 25, so it is more, but it isn't that much more. Interesting. All right, so let me see if I uh, if I put one of these back on this resistance one back on. Let's see how that goes. So now we have an additional resistance booster. Yeah, it brought it up to thirty-seven point three. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have a huge effect. I mean, it's a few percent. So that diminishing stuff kicks in. Interesting. Very interesting. And what happens? 
what happens if I put my other one back on, the other heavy duty back on, just out of curiosity. So that gives me now 2210 on my shield health. Well, I guess, I don't know. I'm not sure. Is it any better? I mean, I lost quite a bit of thermal resistance. But I gained megajoules. It seems like kind of a wash. I'd have to do the actual math to determine what was really more effective. But I think resistances are actually more effective. All right, so let's go back then if we don't do reinforced and we go back to a thermal resist shield get a nice roll on that again I'd, I'd of course blown away the one I had now that's why it's doing it in beta to test out the changes here not terrible let's apply that one just to see <clears throat> okay so that puts me back down at the 1700 and yeah and all my resistance got worse than what I had before so, yeah, honestly, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, the thermal resistance now is better, better, but the kinetic resistance kind of sucks. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, what if I put this back to resistance augmented again? seems better with with that because now I've got uh, almost 60 well 59.2 on the thermal uh, over 50 on the kinetic 67 on my explosive resist and my shield health of 1728 so it seems like you can't you can't really get it up there I mean you can with the reinforced shields have a higher megajoules but uh, the resistances are important. Remember also that resistances uh, affect your shield cell bank uh, efficiency as well because when you recharge your shield with a shield cell uh, then it, the resistances take effect when that whatever, however much you put back into the shield uh, it gets damaged. So if somebody's shooting lasers at you and doing thermal resistance and it's doing only 40% damage and you add another you know six seven hundred megajoules whatever your sh shield cell bank does that amount that you add is also added by uh, so only 40% damaged on that part too I don't know if I'm explaining that well but it it's a synergistic effect when you have shield cell banks the resistances come into play so I think overall I'm probably just as well off keeping it where it's at and not making any changes. I was thinking that I was going to have to, you know, redo some of the stuff. What happens if I take off this booster, though? I forgot what I had. 1728 is what I have with that booster in. 
And if I take off the third the third heavy duty okay so it goes to 1644 so I, I get what a hundred and something megajoules out of adding that guy very interesting I guess I'd like to uh, I'd like to redo I don't know I mean if if I could get heavy duties that also had thermal and stuff in them, that would be kind of cool. Like that one has a little bit. That one actually has 3%. These are also heavy. The uh, heavy duty ones, the mass goes up a lot, as you can see, compared to a regular one, which is 3.5. These are 13 something, so. But that's always been the trade off there. Alright, well this is not a very scientific approach here, but just basically playing around with it a little bit. Uh, I don't see I don't see any real real reason for me uh, the way that I work on things to change it very much. I wonder what would happen if I put like all resistance boosters. Let's let's try that just for jollies. So let's see, I've got, I'm going to mess up my things, but okay, so what? Let's try, I wonder if he sells boosters, so I don't have to mess up the ones I have. Oh, he does. Alright, so let me buy a new unmodified booster there. another unmodified booster there just so I don't have to go and re-engineer them back later if I don't like this. Alright, so that's giving me now 1644. So it's really, it's, it's not that big a difference. Interesting. Okay, alright. Now, let's put some resistances on those guys. So this one, if I make him resistance augmented, oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> yes, put that on there. And then this one. It's almost the same. All right, let's put those two on there. All right. So that now gives me give me 1457 shield strength oh it kind of lied to me it said 16 before and I know that didn't just go down it just went up all right bugs in the display never all right so now I have uh, at this point 1457 uh, 56 63 and 70 okay so yeah. So yeah, again, you know, it's kind of a wash. I got much better resistance by a few percent. And instead of doing 40% thermal damage, now they're only going to be doing uh, 37, 3% uh, difference, and lost 300 megajoules of shield size. I guess it's, it doesn't seem to me like like it helps a lot. All right. Yeah, let's fuss around a little bit more. I hope I'm not boring you. I'm probably boring you all to death with this. 
This interests me though, the, the difference. The difference. Because they're changing things and I want to know what should I do. Alright, let me go back to the reinforced shields again. Because I'm, I have this feeling that it, there's a way to set it up if you have the right you know, the right stuff. So that one's pretty good as far as a boost goes. Again, the thermal goes down quite a bit. I, I still don't know what that is. It bothers me though. Let's just apply it real quick and see what it means. 1887, 69, 39, Interesting. So, I, I gained, what, 400 and some odd megajoules. I know, I'm not writing any of this down. I'm just doing it by eye. It's not very scientific, folks. I'm just doing it. <laughs> Thermal resistance is now 40%, which is, you know, it's better than usual. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would actually have to go out and and test them. Let me try doing that again. Let's see if there's anything that I could theoretically get that's better. So this one's a little less still and that and that went back. Alright, I want to see how much of a difference because I think that affects things as far as your ultimate result. Eh, it hardly made any difference. Just a few, per, you know, a couple percent here and there. 1855. Okay. So, now I have, I have like all resistance boosters, right? One, two, three, four, five. I got five of them. So, what if I change one of them? But, oh, I, <coughs> I have. I forgot. I don't have to do it that way. I can do it here. So let's see. If I take one of these, which is the worst one? That one's 13.1, 12.4, 12.4, 12 12.8. 12 All right. So this one, if I get back out my best. Oh, my, my only. <laughs> I thought I saved two of them in here. I didn't. Okay, that's right. Put that in there. Heavy duty goes in now. Alright, so that's now up to 1978. Assume you can trust this, because last time it was wrong. 1979. Okay, so that... And that takes it down to 35.8 instead of 36. And... Uh, it seems like that's about the best the best type of combination. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't think it's it's really going to make a huge difference one way or the other. I don't What did I have? Do I have another I have a resistance one in there. So if I just put another one in there, without engineering it, I'm over 2,000 again. Heavy duty again. That's not good. Do another one. Ok, 
Got a little thermal resist. All right, let's keep that one just to see. Just to see what it looks like now. Yeah. So, really, <laughs> I mean, I, I got a little bit better shield health with a somewhat lower thermal resistance than I started from. And when you're out there in the field, it's probably not going to make a heck of a lot of difference. I probably won't even notice. Okay, well, anyway, that was my... Uh, that's my point in coming out here. I wanted to play with these numbers and see how they stack. <laughs> see how they stack up. And uh, it turns out that what I have is actually okay. I mean, I can maybe make it a little better by uh, gathering all my materials again and re-engineering all my things. But the amount of difference is pretty small. Pretty small. Uh, now that they've put in these... Uh, diminishing returns there's only you can only go so high with this stuff anymore now, I was never like I was never one of the super high shield guys anyway I mean my 2480 or whatever I have in live on the cutter is tiny compared to some of the five six I've heard up to 11,000 that some folks can get I don't know how they get that honestly but and those of course were overpowered and I can see why they wanted to cut back on that but it also affects you know regular ship I consider mine a regular ship it's not super engineered although maybe it is I don't know maybe this is maybe this is what they're talking about all right so anyway yeah once I get back to live uh, so I'm gonna leave this like this now I'll have 21 21 and uh, I still have four, almost well, I have 36.2 on the thermal. The others are high though. I mean, those those are good. So I'll have to take it out and and shoot some stuff with it and see if it feels any different. Probably won't feel any different actually. Okay, sorry, I went offline there for a minute to uh, do the actual math. So when I came in here, I had the uh, 1702 shield health and a 58 something 58.2 percent thermal resistance uh, which when I multiply it all out gave me an effective shield strength against thermal of 2721 so I do the same thing here now with this new setup using the reinforced shield bunch of resistance that I just showed you. <clears throat> so I have 2121 shield health and 36.2% thermal resistance. So if I multiply that all out, I get an effective shield strength against thermal of 2888. So that's an increase of 166 megajoules. So it is actually a slight increase in my effective shield strength using this. Of course, I lose a certain amount of regeneration and stuff. <laughs> what is my regen now? So I've lost 13.1%. Uh, uh, of my regen rate it's five per second instead of 5.8 so I don't know seems like six to one half a dozen the other in a lot of ways 166 megajoules is I mean it's something it matters I guess but the regen rate matters also so anyway I guess I'm I'm not seeing a a really big compelling reason to change out my shields after the after the patch hits it's not going to make uh, enough of a difference to me I mean all I do is you know community goals I go in some res sites I do some assassination missions and stuff but I'm not a giant combat guy anyway so 
and that's the cutter of course the cutter is, is my heaviest shielded ship I just wanted to check that out uh, probably more important to see how it affects the uh, anaconda and, and the python although I don't expect the python to be affected at all and the anaconda will be affected some it'll be for the same reasons that this one is so it'll be a similar similar thing I was hoping though that I would be able to justify removing one of the uh, boosters but actually I think I'm still gonna need them one heavy duty two heavy duties I might switch one of the heavy duties because I had three heavy duties on here before I might switch one of them out uh, with a resistance but other than that other than that I don't know I don't know if it's worth it to uh, go reinforced here and lose the regeneration probably not probably leave it the way it is just switch out one of my heavy duties for a resistance I think that's all I'm gonna do okay well I couldn't quite put it down I went back in and I changed back to thermal resistance shields again did a few rolls on that to get uh, the best I could get so now I have 1738 shield health but I have 62.8 percent resistance on the thermal <clears throat> so multiplying that all out I now have 2829 uh, megajoules of effective shield strength which is higher than what I had with the reinforced so I think keeping my thermal resistance is on the shield is the way to go although I I may have to re-roll it to get a really good one because I got a really good one here uh, let me show you what I got <laughs> so I got this I got my optimal hull mass actually went up a little bit strength went up a little bit those two don't matter very much but the thermal resistance really nice 39.9 and the kinetic didn't go back down too much I mean it's only slightly below 30 percent so it's very good very good indeed and then I like uh, I did switch to the uh, resistance booster resistance booster heavy duty resistance booster so there's three resistance one heavy duty four resistance two heavy duty so that that's what I want up instead of three resistance three heavy duty I got four resistance and two heavy duty and that's given me the best numbers that I've been able to get so that's probably what I'll do uh, I will swap out one of my heavy duties for a resistance guy and then I will work on the thermal resist roll on my shield to try to get a better one than what I had. The one I have on there now on live isn't terrible but it's possible to get a better one and it seems like it's kind of more important now with the, uh, the way the, min the diminishing returns work. Anyway that's my conclusions folks so thanks for watching again.